Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Chuck Thunder. It's been a little bit of time since I've last checked in with you. Things are getting a little bit busy around here in my life, as well as also some things in game are starting to slow down. I'm at the point where I want to start working on some of my, <coughs> excuse me, battle skill and my battle levels and grind some of the skills that I have, like such as gunnery or what skills do I have? Well, we'll talk about that later, but that's kind of my goal now. And I've gone and accepted a quest that I think is a great place to start for people who want to grind uh, some sea battle skills. And it is a quest from your major city. So here I got mine from uh, Seville, and it's called Battle Reports. You'll sometimes refer to these as BRs. Um, um, and they are great ways to do pretty much endless battling at sea. Uh, and getting some extra experience while taking out ships, getting loot, and a few other things, and getting that experience that you need. Um, so I picked this one up. You're going to be going to an area of the sea, and you're going to battle until you destroy 200 ships. And I think every 50 ships or so that you destroy, you'll get like a formidable foe that you'll have to battle off. So those can be pretty tough to do on your own, especially if you're a low level. And you don't have a really good ship, so I suggest bringing some uh, some way to destroy those guys with like an amulet of sun or something of that nature. So I have a handful of amulet of suns with a few charges on them that I could use when that comes time. I may even use the amulet of suns just to grind through the battles a little bit faster. But you know, be prepared to spend some money on the amulet of suns or a lot of money on and time going and battling these things and blowing up your cannons yourself. So that is my goal. I've gone and accepted that quest. I've also accepted another quest that's a really simple battle quest. I've also changed into a battle job. I am now a junior maritime, junior officer um, that gets some boosts to certain skills. Those skills being, what are they? Ballistics, gunnery, steering, tactics, and leadership, as well as request reinforcements, which I never use. Um, probably should get some other battle, um, job, but this is the one that I use typically, um, to, you know, so I can get arms and accuracy, uh, favored and penetration favored and all that stuff. But if you're like me and you're pretty low and you don't have a lot of skill, you know, you have some extra gunnery skill here, some ballistic skill, rank two, rank two, you're relatively low rank on a lot of things. This is the way to go. Now, there are different types of battle reports to do that are of harder values and harder uh, tricks, but this one is the one that I started with, and I'm going to continue to do this one. Um, be sure to stock up on timber and munitions. You know, you want enough to also stay out at sea for some time. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get like 30 days worth of staying time out at sea, stock up on more timber. Uh, I don't know. That should be enough. We'll see. Alright. We're gonna go to sea now. So my battle run or battle report says I should be going out to sea in check my quest. Uh, when you report the results, you'll be able to receive rewards based on the number of ships you defeat in the designated sea region. Only applicable to ships with the no flags on. However, this won't include the enemy ships you encounter while undertaking the mission of supporting your fellowships. When repeating your adult cycle, you'll encounter relatively strong targets. Prepare well before you get into the sea region. So the sea region here is the Strait of Gibraltar, which is right around here. So, pretty much just going to destroy as many ships as possible. Now, this is the earliest level one that you could do. There is one, I think, that you can do outside of Syracuse. I'm not sure if that's the right BR to do, but that might be the right one. Alright, let's get our first ship here. And I'm not using Surveying or Frugality, because I want to be able to use all of my battle skills. So I can use my cannons and get those skills up higher. Okay. 
There we go. And it says, you have won the sea battle of the designated sea region. The number of targets you've de defeated is currently one. And technically, it'll say you've completed the quest. I have technically completed the quest, but... I don't want that to be the completion of my quest. You know, like, I want to do more combat than that, so... You know, keep going. Don't stop. Do up to 200, do up to 50, whatever you feel like doing, or we got time for. Um, but... Whatever it is. Oops. Let's see. Not a very good battle. I might have chosen a two week of a BR for me to do. But this is just an example. And that's pretty much what I'm doing here. I'm not going to show you guys everything. And now I'm at two. And they said it had to be the Strait of Gibraltar, which I don't know what sea region that technically is. It's pretty much this entire sea region here, so I could, I could expand out a bit to, to just below Malaga and Africa North Coast. I can't go past this yet. So I think the BR run that I want to do really is going to be over here by Cagliari. Because I don't want to battle these guys. <laughs> You got the we got a battle like the um, the uh, NPC ships that are uh, the, you know the small guys, and, and this is like I said the lowest level one that there is. There are some I think outside of Syracuse. You might get a BR from Syracuse, uh, but I believe that's the one that I would say probably are more appropriate for here. Some in the Baltic seas, uh, and so on. I might have a good ship here to battle. Yep. There's a lot of merchant fleets. Now these are a little bit more my speed. Yeah. So we're going to use an amulet of sun. Probably won't do the trick yet. Uh, so you want to destroy all the ships because you obviously get more ships defeated in battle. So that was a kind of a waste because I didn't destroy all three. But it doesn't matter which th you beat. Like you're, I don't have to beat the Islamic fleets. I could defeat these Barkas. There's three of them, so that would be fine too. So. This counts just the same as the last battle that I just did, so long as I destroy all three ships. And, and I won't use an amulet of sun for these guys because they're such a low level. I hate unloading my entire set of cannons on these little tiny guys, but that's what it takes. Easy enough. I got three out of that one. And I got Archibuses. So, you're going to do this until you hit, you know, a certain level. You'll get experience based off the number that you defeat. You'll get experience while battling, and then you'll get experience when you go to submit. Uh, I think for this one, since this one I think is a low level for me, I am going to do... Uh, it'd be a shame not to do all 200 of them, but I at least get to 50 so I can get the formidable foe a formidable ship and then see how that works when I do my battle then All right engage use all my skills it's so tempting to use an amulet of sun <laughs> for these three little barkas but it's kinda how it's kinda how it goes Easy. I also have a quest to do in Malaga, so we're going to start heading towards Malaga, too. 
Now, I might hit these guys up on the way over so long as they aren't a flagged ship. They could be regular Islamic fleets, not just... They could. They may not be Ottoman. If they're Ottoman, then I have to avoid them. Yeah, see, if they're, they're Ottoman, I'm not going to battle them because I don't want to get bad juju with the Ottomans right now. And these guys aren't battleable for me either. All right, so let's go to this other quest, and let's see what my my character information is here. I am actually pretty close to leveling up my battle, so you know that's kind of like what I'm doing is I'm trying to grind this up. I want to get to like at least level thirty. That way, I'm thirty across the board. I think that might be a bit of a lofty thing to do, but we'll see how quickly that can happen if you do battle runs. Otherwise, some of the ways that you could do it is just battling. Uh, in like dungeons and stuff too, but much more of a sea battle kind of guy myself. So, all right, we're here. Let's go to the harbor. Check my quest. It's the Maritime Guild in Malaga, the port in Malaga. So, talk to the port official. And then that was that. Now we check the quest again. I've got a monthly guild report from the Port of Arras in Malaga. Please take it to the Red Hand Guild Seville. Alright, that was it. I get the idea. That was easy enough. Back to sea. Sometimes the maritime quests are talk quests, but. So, that's it guys. That's how you do this. It ain't special, but this is a good way to grind uh, your skills. It's probably the most grindy, and it's one of the reasons why I haven't done my battle skill very much. Because I, I, I don't enjoy sailing at a snail's pace to find ships that are in groups of three. Because I'm not going to do well, battles of one. They're just not worth it. Um, by the time you engage in one, defeat it, and then get out of it to click, be able to click the next one, you're could have battled three. Like, especially if you got an amulet or something like this. Watch, bang, battle will be over. I got a three just for that, and I used one charge of my amulet of sun. Well, like one army of on is twenty battles. Why wouldn't you? You know. See now, I want this guy, and this is why you have to wait because once you are in range of a battle, not necessarily ready for a battle. Battle immediately right after that. Either you gotta keep on clicking these guys. It's annoying. This just seems a little bit slow and I don't know, uneventful. Maybe the bigger battles are cooler, but if anyone else can come up with a better way of grinding your battle your battle skill than doing battle runs, that would be wonderful. <laughs> Anything would be better. This is this is why it's a slow grind. But I'm already at like almost 20 ships, you know. So like, it's not impossible to do this in a reasonable amount of time. I mean, I'd like to take this all the way to at least 50, so I can show you guys the formidable foe. But I gotta be lucky enough to find at least three ship battles, and I'm seeing only like two ship battles here, it seems. But that's what we gotta do. That's what we'll do.
Alright, that's two. About 18. Oh, I got olives. How wonderful. Come on. So these are all two ship guys. Oh. I'm just lazy, just trying to do this fast for you guys. It's 20. Okay, battle barkas. They're not ready yet. Go. Do it again. Do. Yeah, guys, maybe I won't do this. This is just going to take forever. It's going to take forever. But maybe it's one of those things that you're just going to have to experience to see it. Because doing battle runs is a grind. Let's see. I just did all of that. Let's see how far we got. At like 60 experience. I'm not doing the right size. Uh, battle runs for my character. Wonderful. I wish I could just beat these guys up. <laughs> but. Uh, do I just keep grinding? Do I just keep going? Showing you guys? To get the 25? <laughs> and then to get the 50? I don't know. It's just not worth it. I'm getting items and stuff, so it's not like I'm not getting stuff that's worthwhile, but... At the rate that this is going, gosh. So it's like just six ships right here, and it's going to take forever to do these battles. Having to go through all of these skills each and every time. Six, twenty-seven. <laughs> Got twenty-three more to go. This is not going to go very quickly at all. But 28. I hope that's an Islamic merchant fleet. 
you can see why getting three of these at a time is like a big deal. Because getting three ships at any one time is going to immensely speed up your your battle run. There we go. We'll do the amulet of sun. See, it didn't destroy the other ship again. Oh my gosh. Now you understand the frustration. Still no double ships. Come on. There you go. 31 ships. 119 more to go. Come on. I'd like to finish this <laughs> very quickly, but you can't if you don't get multi ship battles and you don't destroy all of the ships in the battle. cannons on the 4 HP ship. <laughs> oh my gosh. Part of me wants to just go after this Islamic merchant. If this isn't an Islamic merchant fleet to go after this Ottoman ship. But I don't want to make bad juju. Not, thank goodness. There we go. Got three that time. Jeez, that's another thing I gotta do. Is my research on ships. My research on ships for. on the ship for repair. So I need to, like, cause damage to my ship and just do a repair. So maybe one of these days I'll run aground. <laughs> it's probably one of the fastest ways to do it. I might actually get lucky here. Keep getting three in a row. This will be a lot faster.
got all three of them again. Twelve more to go. So that means only four more triple battles if it's possible. Or six more double battles. Plenty of cannon, got plenty of uh, stuff to do. So we got plenty of fo uh, food and water. I don't see any triples here, but I see a double, so let's go get the double. That actually might be a triple there, actually, as long as it's a Islamic merchant fleet. Seems that it is, and there's a couple of. Oop, another triple there. Sweet. Nine more to go. I see another triple, triple ship. I don't know if it's the right ship group, but nope. Dang. It's all right. We can do the double. Oh, I got ambushed. That's nice. I'll take it. Is a ship down. We're almost there, guys. Thanks for sticking it through to see how this battle stuff goes. Six more ships to go. But it's definitely not. I think that's. I see three ships, I get excited, but I think that's not the right group. It's gotta be a um, actual Ottoman. But then again, I thought that was the Ottoman, so. another three ship here so we will see please be Islamic merchant fleet please be an Islamic merchant fleet
And my ballistic skill went up. So we're getting there. We're so close, guys. We're so close. And this is just because I hit 50 doesn't mean I'm immediately going to get a formidable foe. I did get ambushed a bit ago, but that was not a formidable foe. chat to see if I had a formidable foe. Okay. Performance in the sea if you defeat this enemy. Okay, so now you visit your performance in the sea battle has caught the eye of a formidable enemy. If you defeat this enemy, rewards, experience, and fame earned when reporting the quest will increase. So, yep, now we can just wait for us to be attacked. And that's where we go from there. Now he's going to be a formidable ship. I luckily only have one ship here that's formidable. Sometimes they are even more formidable than that. There's more than one sometimes, and in this case, hopefully this is enough to unload. Finish them. Done. All right. So you're gonna do that until you reach 200. That's pretty much the goal. I have defeated the formidable enemy. Rewards and experience you have earned. Uh, for when reporting quest will increase. So, that's what we were aiming to do. Since this is a lower level quest battle run that we just did, um, it may not result in a lot of good stuff. I have no idea how actually good of a reward there will be. Because I haven't done this in a while. Sail back to Seville. Part of me still just wants to continue to battle these ships, but because you know there's some options here. Why did I just get a sardine? Just this random sailor just caught sardines. Okay, thanks. Wow, look at all these ships here. Lots of ships in this little spot. Alright. Now we see Seville. We're going to go back to the guild master where I picked up the quest or the mediator at the guild at the G uh, the guild building whatever you want to call it alrighty we've made it back to Seville here <laughs> I have plenty of munitions and materials, don't need to do anything with them. I'm just probably going to continue to do battle reports. But then I might do Seville's next. Or not Seville's, the Syracuse's next. Alright, Commercial District is the closest to the region I want to be at. So we're going to go to the Maritime Guild. Get 
in there and talk to the mediator. He'll hand in our quest. No, I don't know which one's going to hand in first, but we'll see. Okay, so it's going to ask us, to, you've done 51 ships. Are you ready to proceed? Yes. So you got a big chunk of experience here. I got 770,000 ducats. Not bad. 3,465 battle experience. Not bad. Battle experience points for AIDS went up, and I got 1,347 battle fame. <laughs> Not bad. I didn't level up, but you can see that, you know, if I did that to the 200, I might level up my full entire battle experience, because 2307, and what did I get there? I said 3465. So if I had done another 50, I probably would have leveled up to 25. So that's the first one. So I earned some money, and I earned a lot of experience for both me and my other guys. Did I hand in both quests too at the same time? Oh, now to talk to the Maritime Guildmaster. Okay, so before I can hand in the second quest, which is a minor quest I just took because it could take two quests at a time. Done. Now I can go talk to him. That's so easy. And what's the quest going to be? 3200 Yeah. And I got 24 battle experience, $3,200 and 15 battle fame. And a QMP. Awesome. Not that special. But, you can come back here. Look for battle runs again. I don't think I have any battle runs here. Battle reports to do. Nope, no battle reports. So, this would be a time to use the QMP. Since I have it on me, let's do it. What do we got now? Doesn't look like I got any. So, you get the idea. Oh well. Not a big deal. But, that's how you do battle runs, guys. And they're a good source of experience good way to get yourself leveled up really quickly get some battles under your under your wings and uh, learn how to use uh, your, your ship in battle and hopefully you can do some of those things without having to waste 20 million on a <laughs> on several amulet of suns like I did I think I broke two amulet of suns during the entire trip yeah I mean they were already losing some of their their value there don't bring them on the sh all on the trip with you like that they'll just lose durability just because but, you guys get the idea. Hopefully this was an educational experience. You learned what you guys could do with your... Uh, to get yourself leveled up. And hopefully it'll be something for uh, futures uh, that you can do to help yourself, help others. Maybe you could do it with other people. Other people are always willing to do it with you. Um, people are always doing it. So don't be afraid to ask in chat uh, if somebody wants to join you for one of the... Uh, VRs because someone might do that and help you out and assist you and make it go a lot faster. Alright guys, take it easy. Thanks again for watching. Sorry for the long time since it's been. It's hard to drag this video out, but hopefully I'll do more episodes in the future. Take care guys.